Always, it's your girl Joy back with another banger. How you doing? How you doing? And yes, I have skipped over other videos, so I'll be going back to those. Okay, I just, baby, it's just I've just been all over the place. Okay, so I'm about to go to the library. Baby, this is good. Bobby told me about this drink. And I was from Starbucks and I was trying to remember what the drink was. I was like, I know it's a dragon fruit and I know she said lemonade. So this is the Trenta, Trenta size, the big, this is the big dog right here. So I was like, oh, miss, I think I want a uh, dragon fruit lemonade. Yeah, that's what it is. So, and I had texted Bobby, but she didn't get back to me in time, right? So listen, 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 calm down, calm down, calm down. And baby, I was like, Bobby was like, no, it's mango dragon fruit lemonade. I was like, I knew it tasted a little different, but it is still good. And she always says get light ice. But the first time I tried the mango dragon fruit lemonade from Starbucks, it was a little sweet. So I didn't mind the ice, you know, diluting it a little. But I will say you need to go try this one, honey. Go try it. Don't forget the mango. You better ask somebody. It's good. Before I headed out on my day, there's so many things I want to do. School is out, honey. School is out. School's over. School's done. But I do have a lot of professional development. I decided to swing by Chick and Filet, okay? Chick and Filet because I had a gift card from one of my sweet students. And I decided to cash in on that, okay? So I got me some large fries that they did not fill up to the rim. The lighting might be messed up here, but you get the point. I'm sitting in Burger King's um, drive-thru. Don't tell nobody. So after I went from Chick-fil-A, I wanted to sit and chat with y'all. Give you the tea. And if you don't like watching me eat, then be on your way. I'll try. This not a mukbang. This not a mukbang, honey, so I'll try not to smack too much, okay? But how many times you go out with your friends and you eat and you talk, eat and talk, eat and talk, okay? So just imagine you out with me, I'm eating and talking. Period. So I always get the same thing. I get the Chick-fil-A sandwich and some fries. But you know what? The AC is making my fries go, child, I only got 52 miles left on my gas. I be putting a little bit of gas up in here, up in here, up in here. But baby, baby, I want to give you the tea, honey. School's out. I signed up for this program, honey. It's kicking my tail. Kicking my tail, okay? Kicking my tail. And I love the um, Chick-fil-A sauce. Got to get the Chick-fil-A sauce, honey. It's good. Dip your fries up in there. I don't do ketchup. I do the Chick-fil-A sauce. If you haven't tried it, I advise you to go and try it. Period. You better Google me, boo. What? What? I got sad news, sad, sad news. Hansi, I don't want to talk too much about it, but it is what it is. So, it is what it is. Hansi, Bay Daddy and I broke up, y'all. Gone. Finish kaput. Done. Over. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna go into details and all that stuff. And you know, when there's, you know, a disagreement, and I like to put the Chick-fil-A sauce on my chicken sandwich, baby. If you haven't tried it, you better try it. Better ask somebody good look at that all that sauce up on there and she was like oh i'll give you three sauces i said that's okay miss two is fine so i got that on my sandwich honey and then i try to dip it dip it in there a little bit too mm, 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 mm. good i don't understand i don't know how you could not watch chick-fil-a 
I just, I just, and then I dip my fries up in there, y'all. See, you waiting on it. Hold up, hold up. I'm gonna give you the tea. I'm gonna give you the tea. And I will say, we broke enough for real, for real. And it's our first breakout, right? After two years. But you know, you like. Okay, you broke it up. Sometimes you break up, get back together, break up, get back. You know, sometimes you go through that, right? And I think that's the real test of your relationship. But when certain things happen during the breakup, you be like, baby, I don't think there's no getting back together. There's no recovering from this. Covering, recovering. And no cheating, no, nothing like that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I be like, all right, do you do what makes you happy, boo? Bye. But it wasn't anything like that. I'm stumbling you, my young. So after two years, you know, they decided to move in. You know, baby daddy and their child, teenager. And I will say, mm, I have zero problems with baby daddy. Zero. I'll still say super, super sweet. Super sweet. I, I'll still say that. So whoever gets Bay Daddy next, you be you be you be alright. But <laughs> you gotta, you know, be able to deal with certain things. I even bought me some donuts, honey, just in case I get hungry late. I'm greedy. I might get hungry later while I'm in the library trying to work because I plan to be there until they close around 5 or 6, whatever time they close today. It's on Friday. So I might get a little package. So I was like, let me get me a donut. What? Look, my workout the, the journey, it, it, it didn't start yet. Let me enjoy this you know school just in it hey celebration time celebration time come on that's all i know i don't know any other words okay so listen 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 so i will say i ha i enjoyed my time with bay daddy bay daddy spoiled me you know treating me nice, whatever. But sometimes things just don't work out. And it just, just don't work out. It was just, you know, blending the families just didn't work out. It, it just didn't work out. I'm not gonna go into detail, it just didn't work out. Many of you know, who, who've been my rotted eyes, and for my new babies, if you decide to hop on here, honey, I've been through so much. And my peace of mind and that positive energy and the good vibes. That's everything. That's everything for me. Everything. And if those vibes and that energy doesn't mesh, then I, I can't do it. I can even have a student. And if that, in, I don't know, I'm an energy person. I can feel it. And if that energy is not right with the student, I might get one student a year. I just like, I, I can't do that. I can't, I can't do it. And my sister teacher, Miss Anderson, I said, Miss Anderson, I, I, I can't. You, you got to take this. I, I just can't, Miss Anderson. <laughs> and I'm able to um, have that student removed from my class. I, it's just like something just, it's just not a good vibe. It's not a good fit. Um, certain things, it just wasn't a good fit. You know, it just wasn't a good fit. That, that's all I'm going to say. And blended families, it's hard. It's hard. So, you know, I was like, well, let's just, you know, separate until, you know, everything, we figure things out. And then, you know, we still be together, blah, blah, blah. And then things came to a head. It just, and then, and then it got a little ugly. And baby, all that spoiled, all the gifts, all of that. <laughs> all of that went back. 
I'm like, okay, take it all. You can have it. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Like, you know, nothing I'm going to really miss besides one thing. And I could go get one of those if I want, but I don't know. So that kind of was, I was like, and you take it back, all your stuff? You know, I offered it. No, they asked for one thing back. And then I was like, okay, you asking for that back? Just take it all. And I was like, I've never experienced anything like that. Even in my last relationship, um, they had something that belonged to me, but I never asked for it back. But I'm 1,000% sure if I was like, hey, can I get my thing back? But I'm not, I'm not like that. Whatever I give, I give. I give. I don't give with the expectation that, oh, no, we break up. I want it back. That is, that's dirty. That's, mm -mm. and I think when I saw certain things happen, then I knew there will be no going back. Because now I'm seeing, you know how you, get, you really see somebody? And I've been transparent, I, I, I hope I have, and expressed how I felt throughout the whole thing. But you know, one person gonna see their side, the other person gonna see their side. But at the end of the day, materialistic things good night blue cheese take it goodbye because if that's important to you and those are your values even in my last relationship i ain't there with the oh i want this i want that mm -mm. we we ended and it was ended whatever they had they had whatever i had i had okay it is what it is i would i would never do that never never that i just feel like that is just that is so petty it's like that. So therefore, I feel as though those things weren't given with with your whole heart. There were strings attached to those things. But nevertheless, I think that um, that was the nail in the. I was like, mm -mm, I, I I I couldn't. And I I didn't give a lot of materialistic things. I I gave in different ways. But the little the little doodads I did give. You think I'm like, oh, I want that back? Absolutely not. Keep it, throw it in the trash, do whatever the heck you want with it. Good night, blue cheese. Keep it moving. Just keep it pushing. So, I mean, it was a little disappointing, whatever. But at the end of the day, I've been through so much in my life. My peace and that positive energy and good energy, good vibes is everything to me. And if those good vibes and that good energy is not flourishing throughout my home and everywhere, I, I can't. I, I, I can't do it. I, I just can't. And outside of the Indian givenness, I will say, Bay Daddy, it, it was a joy. It was a joy. I, I had a lot of fun. There was lots of laughter every day. Lots of silliness every day. And I, I don't have any regrets at all. It was fun. It was. It was fun while it lasted. And, um, you know, still a lot of tension right now because they're still in the process of moving the things out. So I'd rather be away. Pray that my, my home is not destroyed. It is what it is. And by the time I upload this video, they should be all out of the, out of the house then I'm gonna have a cleaning lady a cleaning crew come in clean clean shampoo the carpets I want to get new sheets get some plants and I am looking for a place so here's my other thing you know it was about downsizing and looking for a place but what I heard a lot of people from California are moving here in droves um, someone was told that by realtor about 250 people a day moving to Texas. The rent prices are going high, 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 skyrocketing. So I did look, I did look to downsize. But baby, when I was looking, the amount that I'm paying for my place now, I have to pay almost the same amount for a much smaller space. You know, I got a whole house. And then when I think of downsizing, it's overwhelming. Then I thought, I was like, well, maybe I was, you know, I looked, I researched a little bit. Bobby and I looked. And I was like, well, maybe I could just start my, my van living. I was like, 
you know, still keep my job. I'm like, where do, where do I, like, where do I go for that? Where, where would I park every day? You know, if I wanted to do that. So if you have suggestions or whatever, you know, and I just <laughs> do the van with it, hopefully be cheaper. Do I have to pay for a spot? So I, I did think about that. I was like, maybe I should just go get one of those and just throw in a towel. I, I don't know. And then I was looking at the things people don't tell you about, you know, RV living. So I don't know, y'all. I don't know. And I will tell you this. Money, I'm telling y'all, money will ruin a friendship and a relationship with a quickness. A qu I hope I'm not too dark, y'all, but it will ruin, honey. If you owe somebody some money, do whatever you can. Take a loan. Pay them back their money, honey. Pay them back their money. That's one thing I do not do. I do not mess with people's money. Mm-hmm. And I know I owe Miss Anderson. I owe her two dollars. I told her I said I'm gonna give you your two dollars, okay? I'm gonna give you your money. And you know, I talked to a few people, not too many. But I'm like, am I crazy? And you know, because there are other things. I'm like, am I crazy? And I said, make it make sense to me. No one can make it make sense. <sighs> so, yeah, it's over. As I was saying, so I got to, so I want to research to have a cleaning company come, clean the carpets. I clean the whole house a deep clean until I figure out what I'm going to do. I mean, I'm there. I'm not going to tell them or tell the landlord that I'm moving out and I haven't secured a, a space. That doesn't make any sense. But I'm trying to figure out, I'm like, do I start my RV living now? Where am I going to park? I still got to go to work. How much it going to cost? Is it still gonna cost me about the same amount that, you know, the park and empty the, the, the things and stuff? Is it still gonna be about the same amount that I, I'm, I'm paying for where I am now? So I'm just confused. You know, if somebody can be like, oh no, girl, you do this right, brrr. Cut the one, get stuff, brrr. You don't got no, brrr. I'm like, okay, bet. I'll be doing it before I go back to school. What? And then Clinton's back, Clinton did get a job, honey. He still needs a, still needs a car. So he, he got his job back with the grocery store. So he did get that. Um, he's he's happy to be back at work. The poor baby need a car. Oh, it's just, oh. It's just, it's just a lot. Mm -mm. So I don't know, I, I don't know. Anyway, listen, listen, listen. Before I go, y'all, just wanted to give y'all that quick tea. Bay Daddy not gone. Gone. Bay Daddy gone. Gone. Okay. Um, but, baby, I'm telling you here, you'll never meet another Basil, baby. Never. Never. <laughs> Perhaps you won't <coughs> want to. <laughs> uh-huh. You may not want to anyway, so, you know. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. I know I'm funny, funny. <laughs> what? But there's certain things. Now that I'm older, and I know what I want, and I know what I don't want, I'm not bending, and I shouldn't have to. I'm too old for that. Oh, I'm old as heck. Positive, positive, positive. Positive, good energy, good energy, good energy. Big money, big money. Little money, little money too. Hold on. So with that said. Oh, shoot, I need to go to the pharmacy. Okay, I gotta get my ADHD medicine. Get my refill. But I normally won't take it um, throughout the summer. Maybe here and there if I have things to focus on, which I do. But not, not on a daily basis. Absolutely not. So, I need to um, go to the pharmacy. Then when I get settled in the library, you know, I do little odd things and stuff. I need to... Um, I want to. I want to go to the mall, but I hate going to the mall. I don't like shopping. I want to give me a new comforter set. I may do some new curtains, some bright curtains. I want to get up, not real, because you know I don't, I don't have a green. Thumb. I want to get a big green plant. Just bring the life and the air and the flowing throughout the house. You know, it's like a. I want to get it good, clean. So it's just like, ooh. Now, oh, Bobby and I are gonna go, and I'm going to get some. 
some sage. You have the sage go throughout the whole house. And I told Bobby, I said, I know you don't like the smell, but oh well, it is what it is. That's what you have. Some people are not into sage. That's good. That's you, okay, baby? That's you, and, and, and it's okay. I want to do the sage throughout the house and, you know, that good energy. And even in the Bible, there's something about some frankincense or whatever. They, they, they did stuff like that. Don't quote me on the Bible. Don't do that. 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 Okay. I want to do that. Go throughout the house. The good positive energy. The positive vibes. Throughout the whole house. You do all the door frames. Have the doors open. Windows open. Just that good positive energy. The good vibes. The love. The, the, the peace. You know, just good spirit. Just flowing throughout the house. So Bobby and I are going to... I have a piece of sage, but it's old. It's old. It's old. Okay. So we're going to go to this area and um i want to go get some fresh sage and i want to talk to the lady because she's into the crystals and the sage and blah 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 but if that's not your thing please please mama that's you okay i don't know it may not do anything <laughs> and i'm gonna pray too i'm gonna pray pray positive energy positive energy throughout the house throughout the house so you know just that good renew then i need to call the landlord i'm still looking though so i need to call the landlord fix a few things around the house my toilet keeps running so it's the garage the toilet it was something else oh and the garbage disposal baby you come in and repair all of this honey yes that's what i like <laughs> when somebody else owns the stuff you just make a phone call you know oh and i'm still trying to get rid of my treadmill i'm trying to get on this new cake but i'm gonna save that for another video honey i love you send down your prayers for me and good positive energy positive vibes lift your girl up i'm good i'm good i'm good because i i know none of it was in malice in my heart it's just i could take what i could take and you know I, I don't know. Whatever. All right, y'all. Have a wonderful day. And always keep it positive. Keep it friendly. Keep that love and that light in your life. And maybe a smile or just something can really lift somebody's spirit. And you don't know what they're going through. That's all I got, y'all. So send me some good positive energy, some good vibes. I'm going to try to be back on my vlog game. Oh, God. When I go, I may go to the mall later. Maybe I'll go with Bobby and look for some new sheets and blah, blah, blah. So, figure out what I'm going to do with my life. Um, I called my realtor. <laughs> See, is it any way possible, sir? So, um, he told me to call him. I don't like calling people, but I'm a, I'm a text. He's, he's, not, he's not a texter. He wants you on the phone. So, I'll probably do that before the week is out. That's going to be my goal. I'm going to set some goals for myself um, this summer. Yesterday was the last day of school. Uh, it's bittersweet because I, I enjoy what I do. So it's not like, oh, God, I, I was glad. No, it wasn't like that. So anyway, I will check in with you guys later. Bye, y'all. Thanks for eating with me and snacking with me with your girl. I'm going to the library. I didn't get my life. Get my life.